Government corruption has never been more prevalent or caused more harm. It's why extremism is on the rise. It's why the financial gap between the haves and have nots has never been wider. And it's why our planet is at risk of an extinction level tragedy. That's why I need your help to keep exposing the truth about the rot on both sides of the aisle. Become a supporter or a friend of the show today by clicking on the coffee link in the description box below. Friends of the show, join me on a Zoom hangout once a month, and you guys can ask me any questions you want, and I can get to know you better. But the most important reason to help is to keep the show alive. Together, we can and will save our country and our planet. Thanks in advance and enjoy the show. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Plants and Politics. I have quick updates to share about the various January 6th investigations. So Donald Trump's former trade advisor, you may have heard, Peter Navarro, he recently received a subpoena. This was early last week, demanding his testimony before the grand jury which is considering charges against the ringleaders and the instigators of the January 6th Capitol attack, as well as anyone who took part in the effort to overturn the 2020 election, if it was illegal. So Navarro had made himself a target because he kept going on MSNBC. He went on several months ago and literally admitted to trying to steal the election by having fraudulent electors meet and vote for Trump. This was something he referred to and others referred to as the Green Bay Sweep. And he wrote about this at length in a Trump administration tell-all book. And MSNBC host Ari Melber actually said to Navarro something to the effect of, you know, you, you do realize that you just admitted on TV to being part of an attempted coup. So now he has to decide whether or not he's going to comply with his federal subpoena. They gave him a deadline, which he's now blown past. And he says, oh, no, he told Ari Melber, they didn't ask for me to come in and testify. They just want documents. That's what he claims. But this wasn't the first subpoena that Navarro had received. He had also already been subpoenaed to appear before the January 6th Select Committee, and he blew them off as well. So they had referred the matter to the Justice Department, and now he's been officially indicted for two contempt of Congress charges. The grand jury reviewing the matter indicted Navarro for one, failure to appear for his deposition, and then two, his refusal to turn over documents to that committee. So Navarro was arrested. Apparently, it was pretty public. And he was not too happy. They, they cuffed him and shackled him at the airport. And now he's alleging prosecutorial misconduct. Navarro told the judge when he was taken in that he wasn't allowed to make any phone calls following his arrest. And then he also complained that the officers could have arrested him at his house, but that they waited purposely to arrest him at the airport. And in addition, Navarro alleges that he's just been indicted because this is a way to preempt his lawsuit that he filed against Nancy Pelosi and others in regard to the January 6th Select Committee subpoena. So he told the judge he wants his civil suit to be allowed to proceed through the court system and possibly even taken all the way to the Supreme Court if necessary to prove that he doesn't have to testify before the select committee. The reason being is because he claims that he's exempt. He says he's exempt from subpoena due to executive privilege and because he has testimonial immunity. However, the only person who can claim executive privilege is the current president, and Biden has not done so. But even if Trump could claim executive privilege and say, no, I don't want him to talk about what we discussed, he hasn't. He hasn't done that. And also, how does he have executive privilege about things that he's already been out blabbing about? He's been on TV and he's, you know, he's made numerous media appearances. He wrote about all of this in his book. So there's no way that he has this immunity. So this had been a great bookend to a really bad week for him because, as I mentioned, he tried to sue Pelosi and others. And it didn't go so great because he's trying to act as his own attorney. 
And so basically the judge told him, this doesn't make any sense. Like none of what you wrote makes any sense. You need to go back, you need to redraft it and then resubmit it. So of course, He goes back on NBC to shoot off his mouth again about how he plans to get revenge on Biden if the Republicans take over in 2022 and 2024. So there's going to be plenty of evidence against him. And then also, I wanted to mention, Navarro was saying that he wanted to represent himself in court for not just his lawsuit, but in all these other lawsuits, in, in you know, all these other matters. And the, he told the judge he doesn't want to waste his life savings on legal fees. But now Steve Bannon has stepped in. So Steve Bannon has set him up with this mega billionaire. He is this Chinese billionaire who has been involved in financial transactions or businesses with Bannon. And now Bannon is hooking this guy up with Navarro, and he's supposedly going to pay for Navarro's legal fees. Anyway, guys, when and if I hear more, I'll let you know. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Take care. I'll talk with you soon. 